Hey there, and welcome back to Two Chicks Going Green. When shopping for products made from fabrics and textiles, it can be really tough to know which materials are the most environmentally friendly since there are just so many different types out there. Yes, especially when it comes to clothing. Unfortunately, when we produce fabrics, it takes a lot of resources, creates pollution, and most of them contain plastics nowadays. So in this video, we'll be going over the various types of textiles out there, both synthetic and natural, and discussing which are the most sustainable choices, as well as what you can do as a consumer to make a positive impact. And please make sure to share this video as well so we can help inform others and so that everyone can make these positive changes. Yes, let's get the word out there. Let's start with the downsides of synthetic fabrics, which is unfortunately what the majority of clothes are made out of nowadays. Aside from the environmental impact, which we're going to get into in a moment, synthetic fiber fabrics have a lot of downsides to them. They provide poor insulation, burn more rapidly than the natural materials, they're prone to heat damage, they aren't especially skin friendly, and most of them absorb very little moisture, so they become sticky when the body sweats. And when it comes to sourcing, lots of synthetic textiles involve harsh working conditions and unfair labor practices, making the product cheaper to manufacture so that it can sell for cheaper. Hence, worse quality too. Remember, you get what you pay for. Yeah, exactly. And from a sustainability standpoint, because most of them are made of plastic or contain plastic, like nylon, rayon, and polyester, they require non-renewable resources to be made. They don't biodegrade and they all shed microplastics constantly, especially when we wash them. A test done on three types of synthetic fabrics showed that after a few washes, polyester fabric shed the most, followed by the acrylic and then the polycotton blend. And even though this amount of plastic shed per load is small, like anything else, it adds up. A paper in Environmental Science and Technology estimated that a population of 100,000 people would produce approximately one kilogram of fibers each day. That's 793 pounds per year of these teeny tiny plastic shards. So this is a huge source of microplastics in our waterways. In fact, microplastics from our clothing account for one third of the microplastics in our ocean, which is a huge issue. So make sure to check out our video on plastics so you can learn all about microplastics and how damaging they are. As you can see, synthetic fibers are a lot worse for us to wear and they're also a lot more polluting than natural ones. But the problems with the textile industry go far beyond synthetic versus natural fibers. As you may or may not know, some of the natural fibers out there can also be harmful to our environment. First off, some require the use of harmful fertilizers, pesticides, and insecticides, cotton being the worst in this regard. Cotton represents 10% of the pesticides and 25% of the insecticides used globally. Second is water use, and again, cotton is one of the worst in this respect. According to the World Wildlife Fund, it takes more than 20,000 liters of water to produce just 2.2 pounds of cotton, which roughly equals one t-shirt and a pair of jeans. That's so much water. Third, there's water pollution. For example, turning bamboo into fabric can cause a lot of water pollution due to the heavy use of chemicals used during processing. Fourth, while this may not be environmental, it is important. Most cotton growers exploit their labor force. 99% of the world's cotton farmers are located in developing countries where labor, health and safety regulations are non-existent or not enforced most of the time. So as you can see, it isn't exactly black and white, synthetic versus natural, but there are a lot of things that we can do as consumers that make a really big difference and that ensure that we are each doing our part. So here are our solutions based on all of our research on this topic. First and foremost, like we say in many of our videos, always think about need versus want when shopping. Even if there's an amazing sale, it doesn't mean you need something. Exactly, a minimalist approach goes a really long way. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about minimalism, I really enjoy the Heal Your Living YouTube channel and have learned a lot from it. Also, consider how often your clothes really need washing, and this doesn't mean you have to be dirty. For example, jeans and sweaters don't need to be washed every time you wear them, especially if you're not sweating in them. This also means that they're gonna last longer. Yeah, definitely a lot longer. 
Next, if you do need to buy something, by far the best thing that you can do is buy secondhand or pre-owned items since synthetic fibers shed the most on the first wash. And of course, as we mentioned before, after that they'll still continue to shed some while washing. So the best choice is to of course buy secondhand natural fiber materials like ones made from 100% cotton. And this will also save those items from ending up in a landfill for no good reason. And by the way, the disposal of clothing and other fabrics also poses a huge environmental issue. So make sure you don't throw any of them in the trash when you don't need them anymore. We suggest that you instead sell your clothes on websites like Poshmark, Mercari, Letgo, eBay, and even Facebook Marketplace. Donate them or give them away to friends and family. To learn more about this issue and how you can save money by shopping secondhand, make sure to check out our eighth Eco Challenge video, which is on the environmental impacts of the fast fashion industry. And that's linked in the description below. Also, if you ever need just some pieces of fabric for arts and crafts or a sewing project, make sure to look for a place that sells textile scraps locally. There are even some companies making their products from these scraps to prevent textile waste, which is so great. For example, there's this really cute shop close to my hometown in Mexico called Entre Amigos, which makes really awesome products only from scraps and their products are so adorable. Now, if you really want to buy something new, look for sustainable natural fiber products like the ones made from organic hemp and linen from ethical companies. They have a lower environmental impact, they're fully biodegradable, and they're also better quality. As we mentioned before, conventional cotton isn't as great as one might think, so it's important to look for more sustainable alternatives. This helpful article on textiles and their environmental impact shows that organic cotton, linen, hemp, and ramy are the best natural fibers out there. So make sure you choose products made from these natural fibers when shopping, especially when you're going to be washing that item really often, since all of these don't shed any harmful fibers into our water. Companies like Allbirds make their shoes only out of all natural fabrics, which is pretty cool. If you're going to choose wool, make sure to look into sourcing and choose a sustainable company with good manufacturing practices that doesn't mistreat the animals. Also, make sure you look for organic fabrics since this prevents the use of pesticides and insecticides, which are harmful to microorganisms in the ground, can be toxic to wildlife, and are terrible for our health. Some can even cause cancer and all sorts of other health issues. They also contaminate groundwater, which can cause long-term pollution problems downstream for other farms. So organic is always best for so many reasons. Companies like Pact use only organic cotton for all of their clothing, which is awesome. Another option if you're buying something new is to look for companies that make their fabrics out of recycled materials. We talk about a few great companies which do this, like Rothy's, Waterlust, and Nothing New in our gift videos, so check those out if you're interested in learning more. I have a friend who works at a company called Rewear that makes environmentally friendly textiles from all sorts of recycled materials. Very cool stuff and definitely the future. We should mention though that even recycled fiber clothing can still shed fibers. And realistically, it's almost impossible to end up owning just clothing made from natural fibers, which brings us to something else that you can consider doing. Getting a microfiber catcher filter for your washing machine or some sort of a microfiber catching bag like Guppy Friend, which catches 90% or so of released microfibers. Don't do the Coraval since it only catches 26% or so of microfibers. I think that about wraps it up for this video. If you found this video informative and you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to support us even more, buy us a coffee or two on our Kofi page. We've also included a lot of interesting articles on this topic in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Yes, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We have all sorts of other videos on sustainable living tips and tricks, eco-friendly challenges, eco-gift ideas, product reviews, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So we hope to see you on the next video. Bye.